Hey there, this is Eric with RV Wholesalers and today we're going to go over the 2021 Puma XLE 25 TFC. This is a toy hauler with no slides. Uh, very open layout. You've got a lot of sleeping space in this one. You're sitting out at a dry weight of 6,137 pounds and your GVW rating is 8,800 pounds. So approximately 2,600 to 2,700 pounds in cargo capacity. Exterior height, 12 foot 2 inches. Exterior length, 29 feet 7 inches. And overall exterior width, 8 feet. Freshwater tanks are 51 gallons in capacity. Black water is 35 gallons. Gray water, 35 gallons. And you've got a 14 foot awning on this one. Hey y'all, this is Eric here at RV Wholesalers and today we're going to go over this nice Puma over here. It's the Puma XLE 25 TFC for the 2021 year. Uh, a lot of great things in here. This one in particular has some great options that were selected on it. And uh, I know that I get questions all the time about some of the options in here. So hopefully this can serve some help to you in your next toy hauler purchase. Uh, but to start out here, we've got our uh, TV mounts and everything here on the side as traditionally seen with a lot of travel trailers nowadays. Uh, you get a huge 14 foot awning up here. So for the size of this trailer, you practically have almost the entire length of the trailer as far as awning space goes. So you're definitely gonna have a lot of space here to, uh, to camp, entertain, uh, put the game on, uh, cook, up front here in the outside kitchen. Um, now, a lot of a lot of the times when we when we look at these toy haulers, you don't ever really see a toy hauler that has an outside kitchen. Now in Puma, they have a couple of layouts that have uh, the outside kitchen. But to stay relative here, the 25 TFC is the one toy hauler that they have that has a huge outside kitchen. You have your 3.6 cubic foot refrigerator. You've got drawer space, cabinet space. You have your sink that drains out into your gray tank. And then right next to it down below, you have a locking slide mechanism that holds your, uh, your, your gray stone griddle right here. Now, you've got lights, everything right here. And one of my favorite parts about it is that when you step under here, I'm six foot tall. And as you see, you know, versus some other trailers with outside kitchens, this is kind of right on top of you for, for a couple of you tall folks out there. So there's a lot of head space under here. Also, what I really like about it is that it comes right up next to the awning. So say, for example, you still want to cook outside, but it's um, raining or, um, you know, the weather's not very fair and you want to just stay under the shade. There's just a small little break between the awning and the door for the outside kitchen so therefore you're going to run into a minimal chance of um, getting rained on if you're out camping things like that so really cool setup of an outside kitchen for a toy hauler this is hard to find so take note of that great you got your solar power on the side two pin portable solar plug so if you uh you know, if you're out at the racetrack or out somewhere where, uh, you know, I say racetrack particularly because racetracks typically don't have power hookups or anything like that. So you might want to invest in maybe a portable solar unit. As most trailers are being made nowadays, you have your Go Power Solar 2 pin plug prep on the side. So therefore, you can plug in a portable unit. You're still going to get a charge on your batteries. Moving forward. This one in particular has a manual tongue jack, but there is an option on here in the power package where you can actually get an electric uh, tongue jack with that. It's gonna come standard with two 20 pound LP cylinders, but you can either at a dealership level or even uh, I think with the manufacturer, they might be working on something where you can actually option in two 30 pound cylinders instead. Uh, 
you know, make sure you ask your sales representative when you call. If that's something that's important to you, uh, ask about that because it is definitely possible to do. Moving around here, we've got a storage cavity right here. Now, keep in mind, this is not a pass-through storage as there is the outside kitchen on the other side, but still, as you saw in there, it is very deep. It's a very deep storage cavity, and it actually goes back and utilizes the whole underneath part of the bed, so therefore, you can put uh, your fishing poles in there. You can put... Um, you know, you can put your uh, roadside kit in there. You can put uh, your chairs and all that other stuff in there. So there's a lot of space, even though it doesn't look like it. There is a lot of space in there. You get your emergency exit windows up here in the bedroom. You get low point drains. Uh, your black and gray water outlets are very close and rel uh, very close and relative. See a lot of these t a lot of these trailers they're really close to the ground, but these with the with the extra ground clearance that the Puma comes with, it, it's not all the way down there, so it's kind of in a lot more convenient location. Of course, everything is all nice and tidy over here on the park side of the trailer. You get your outside shower, city water connection hot water heater. Everything is super easy to access. Fresh water connection. And then over here you'll see these uh, mounts right here. This is for your collapsible roof ladder. So uh, if you wanted to get a roof ladder, I believe it is an option on these to where uh, you can uh, get up on the roof. There is a side collapsible ladder that you can take on, put off, uh, that way it's not sticking out of the side of the trailer when you're in transport. It's super easy to use. This one in particular does have the collapsible ladder option. Uh, so for those out there that were kind of curious that some toy haulers don't, some toy haulers do, uh, th there usually is an option that you can get that done. As you see, it's got several windows along the side here. Uh, you still get your, on your park side of the trailer, your cable hookup, satellite TV, um, everything that if you were to go into a park that has everything that you can think of, every hookup, they're even going to have maybe satellite or cable hookups that you can just plug in right there. And then you'll get your cable or satellite connection to the front or the other side out there and also inside of the unit. Now, coming around here, You'll see that whenever you're looking up into this trailer, you get your nice textured ramp door. So therefore, if, if uh, you know it starts getting a little wet outside, but you still need to load up your dirt bikes or anything like that, or there's mud caked on your feet, I've seen it a lot with some other toy haulers that they don't have that textured surface right here. And it can get really slippery, especially if you just got done on the trails and your feet are covered in mud. Um, you know, that textured floor is something really nice to have uh, for safety. Now, um, with the extra height, they did put in uh, up here that we'll get a closer look of when we get inside, but there is actually a two foot dovetail inside of the trailer. So therefore, being that it's a higher ground clearance trailer, it's still gonna allow for easy loading and a nice ramp door angle to where you're not, you don't feel like you're pushing your motorcycle up the side of a mountain. So it's it's very well thought out trailer. It's one of my favorites personally. Let's go and uh, check out inside here. So as you see there, it's got your nice polished diamond plating uh, on on the on the dovetail here. And uh, you also got your diamond plate uh, flap that goes over to hide the crease. That way you don't get your uh, motorcycle wheel or something stuck in there. And I know that some people that have had toy haulers before with a motorcycle know exactly what I'm talking about. That flap right there is really nice to have. And if you look up here above me, this is one big option that I get asked about a lot. Now, um, you know, people with bigger families. They want all that sleeping space. 
And this option right here above me is the two queen electric bed system that's on Happy Jack. So it all is operated by switch. You know, you can bring them down and eventually the top one, it'll stop. The bottom one will keep going down to a lower level. So therefore you can sleep a lot of people. Moving up forward, these actually will flip forward and meet together. And then you have another large bed right here. So, or you can sleep one and one, or you can bring it down and you can sleep two of them because that's gonna be, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be a queen, uh, nearly an actual full-size queen when these two fold together. Of course, you'll get your um, movable recliner there that straps nice to the wall. Uh, very comfortable if you've never actually been in one of these uh, Puma. Uh, one of my favorite things about them is that their seating, everything is so comfortable and you can, you can, you can best believe that you're going to be uh, sitting real nice on one of these things. Above here, you have a lot of storage right here. Uh, you have frosted glass windows. Um, this passes through all the way. So you'll be able to, to stow a lot of things up there, maybe gear, or um, you know, maybe uh, you can put your helmets in there. Uh, it is re it is actually very deep, so I, you would be able to fit helmets and stuff in there, uh, or you can even just set it up on top. There is a raised edge up here. Um, you may not be able to see it, but there is a raised e raised edge up here where you can put things up there and it won't slide off. Looking directly across you have your space here for your tv and as you as most of you might know for a puma they are pre-wired for a king wi-fi router so if you want your wi-fi and things on the go um, this is already set up for it you'd call king get set up with the router and there you go you've got your internet or um, lge extension things like that you have your bluetooth radio inside outside or both for the zones to where you can listen to all your music no matter where you're at. And kind of moving up front here, you get your large 11 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator and um, you know and this this trailer's been plugged in here in the garage now for Oh, I don't know. I'd say a, a few hours, and it, it is actually already getting cold. Uh, so the 12 volt refrigerators, it's been a really great option uh, to substitute for the gas electric. I know there's some out there that are just diehard gas electric. That's the only option, and I and you know, and, and for the most part, I would agree. But the 12 volt refrigerator option has been a serious contender. Uh, it uses less energy draw. Um, you know, it stays cooler longer, you get more space, and uh, even if you wanted to go solar or something like that, uh, with the minimal draw that these refrigerators pull from the battery, you're going to be getting a lot of efficiency out of it, where sometimes a gas electric isn't always as efficient as you'd want it to be. Um, but this definitely is great option. You get your uh, stove here with your glass cover. You get your cast, uh, you get your cast grating, and something in Puma that I really like is back here. You actually have these little slots. I get asked that a lot too. This is actually for knife storage, so you know whoever's the cook in the family, they can keep their knives situated. Uh, they're out of the way. They don't have to worry about taking up any extra space anywhere else. Cabinet space. You get cabinet space and an L pattern here. And inside of here, it actually does go all the way back to the corner, if you can see that. So these, from here, goes in, this goes in. It's all open in there to where you can maximize your storage space. Stainless steel everything, as you've already seen. A uh, lot of features in this trailer that it, you're just, uh, for, the, for the price point that you're at, you're not going to find it anywhere else and a puma 
for as far as a toy hauler goes or even their travel trailers you get a whole lot for your money and i and i think a lot and i, I think a lot of you already know that but for those that don't you definitely are getting a lot for your money here now moving forward over here on your right you get your uh, sink you get your uh, tank level switches and all that other stuff it's nice tidy and out of the way and right across from there you get your bathroom so you get a you get your tall ceiling with skylight and exhaust fan above the bathtub shower combo you get a decent amount of leg room for the for the to for the toilet there and um you know it's got it's got everything you need moving forward into the bedroom you'll see that this is a very unique layout for the bedroom uh you'll get a really tall shelf here on the right uh on the foot of the bed uh and that's just to that's to make room for the uh for the outside kitchen because as you know with outside kitchens there always has to be a void somewhere to fit that outside kitchen so the outside kitchen is right underneath here but what you can use this as a second as you see you know for decorative or you can put uh your phones or you can put um anything up here you know or even if you wanted to make this the front of the bed and you have cpaps you know you can put your cpap up there um you know you get your um you get a uh camper queen size bed and uh Moving back to turn around, on the left side of the bed there, you actually get your end table, uh, foam, CPAP, uh, your glass of water, anything you may need while you're, uh, while you're resting for the night. So as I said, this is one of my favorite toy hauler travel trailers. It has so much in it. It has your outside kitchen. It has your dovetail on the back. It's got your uh, the ability to do your double queen beds in the back. Uh, it's all electric operated. Um, plenty of space for uh, for a larger family or plenty of space for just a uh, you know family of three or four that just wants to go to the racetrack with dirt bikes quads anything like that or you just want to put your golf cart in the back it's got plenty of space for all of it thank you guys so much for uh watching the video today i sure hope you love this trailer as much as i do again my name is eric at rv wholesalers my number here is 877-877-4494 Thank you.